I'm Paula Schapp, Assistant Managing Editor at The Deal, and I'm here with Sarah Pringle, a reporter at The Deal, and we're here to discuss Blue Mercury, a company that is on the block. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Paula. So what's up with Blue Mercury? What's going on and what's happening with the auction process? So first of all, Blue Mercury is uh, private equity backed uh, by the Invis Group, and they are a retail chain and e-commerce provider of luxury beauty products, skincare goods, things of that sort. Uh, and the company, after opting out, an, out of an initial public offering last year, is now on the block and uh, is now in the final round of this auction process that is being run by Goldman Sachs. So um, what are some of the issues with the company? How does it stack up against its peers? Yeah, so its competitors are considered to be other retailers like Ulta and Sephora, uh, but those, brand, or those retailers have a much larger mass appeal. And so uh, Blue Mercury has really been an, unable to expand to the level that Ulta has, uh, unable to reach a lot of these suburban markets. But yourself, for your example, have you tried any of their products no, yet? No, I haven't. <laughs> Me neither. But, you know, who are the most likely buyers of Blue Mercury? And in this case, I mean the company as opposed to the products. Sure. Uh, so sources I've spoken with suspect the most likely buyers are private equity. Uh, they think if somebody can come in there, turn the company around, or really drive some new uh, growth into the company, then maybe four or five years down the road, we could see somebody like Ulta come in and pick them up uh, once they've uh, really maxed out on organic growth. All right. Well, thanks very much. Thanks, Paula. For The Deal, I'm Paula Schapp.